name is Jonathan Peter from JSS Anglo Joss, and I'm, I'm participating in the Democracy Camp of 2020. And I think the reason for me to participate in Democracy Camp is that it teaches me a lot about democracy. And from what I've learned today is that if you don't participate in democracy, you are cheating yourself. Because if you don't participate, maybe during an election, you don't go and vote. And then when the wrong person is being elected into power, and then that person gains the power and begins to misuse it, it will also affect you as a person. And secondly, the reason why I think you should participate in democracy is that when you vote, you will be able to get what you want. My name is Osha Medokas. I school in ICC Community College, Ika Jaiga. Human rights, there are many things I learned from there. Right to life, right to shelter, right to education, right to personal decisions. And I then, when I live here, I'm going to teach my colleagues at my school. We also can take active part in the governance of this nation by the issue like when we participate in our social club in school, write articles on things that is happening, things we think are not good. And we have known about our rights, the ones that have been given to us, the ones that we can practice, the ones that have been limited. And so we have learned not to go against rights that are not ours and to welcome rights of others and not to misbehave in the community so that we can keep a better Nigeria and to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign. In those days, I normally thought that women cannot participate in uh, politics or they can't vote them into office. But me, I don't see that as a good reason because all of us are one. There's something that I have that you don't have. So there should not be discrimination among the two parties. Everyone is um, allowed to do anything because that's what the law says. Women also should be given the right to exercise um, their, 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 their freedoms in the society. They should be given equal rights like men to be elected into political offices. They should be given that right to, to express. Uh, if we say women should not take part in politics, it means we are limiting their freedom of expression and association. And so they should be given the right to express their feelings and to associate in any political uh, party that they want. Because in the history of um, of women we have had that women have tried in so many uh, sectors of the of the economy once they are given just little opportunity they use it tremendously I, I was not so much into politics not until i learned that i have the potential to change politics i have my own point of view in building the next generation of civic actors young africa's democracy camp sponsored by the national endowment for democracy nerd has empowered over 2,000 students across over 200 secondary schools in Nigeria on civic activism, leadership, human rights, and youth political participation. Because these are critical parts of our democracy, and youth within the secondary school age make up the larger percentage of our population. Now in its seventh year, the workshop held in Kogi, Nasrawa, and Plato State with a commitment to finding them, teaching them, and inspiring them wherever they may be. Or is a society that is made up of people with the same ideology and the same thinking. So now, in the community, you are there as a young person. Who told you that you cannot bring about growth and development in your community? When at first they told me that you are going to come for a democracy camp, I thought it was going to be a debate quiz stuff. But when I came here, it was something different. Um, one of the sections I enjoyed in the democracy camp 2020 was the group the grouping of everyone to discuss what they see, what they feel are the key points related to democracy and then sketch a diagram representing democracy. Now, I you know I'm a talkative, so coincidentally they elected me for the president of my group, so I was the leader and then we coordinated the group and everything like that. In our history, I've not seen a situation whereby a youth has become a president in this country. So I believe that will change a lot. And then I believe that youth have more vision and goals than the old people. That means if I'm able to further my education and then 
get whatever I need. I would like to be the president, maybe years to come. Your Excellency, President Mohammed Buhari, we are here to tell you about the problems we are facing in these various communities. One of the problems is electricity issues. We have issues with electricity, we don't often get light. Sometimes we get light once in two weeks, sometimes we don't even get light. Our food is spoiled. We don't get water in most of these communities. We find it hard to get water. We have issues with bad roads, like in Tudu Wada, we do not have good road, especially at the Samudari axis. We don't have good roads. Some people say if you follow that road, some pregnant women complain that if you follow that road, you are born prematurely. People sometimes they don't have salary. Salaries are not being paid to workers. They don't have to rebuild their houses. Whenever a heavy rainfall is being like has been taking place, flooding takes place of all over everywhere. We are begging, we are on our knees crying. So please help us so that it's not a better generation. I'm going back to teach my younger ones and also to teach my fellow students in school what we learned in the Democracy Camp 2020. What I like best is the way they teach. The quiz pass. The group work. When I go back to my school, I can teach my junior ones on what I learned about democracy, human rights. I like to tell people about how this democracy is run to make a play that will, that will showcase how this democracy of today is done. This is what I've learned here to enlighten them and to create awareness also. And um, to educate the young ones about their rights and responsibilities as citizens. I will, I will talk to the fellow boys or men in the society to, to have a feeling for a woman on, like, to have a feeling to vote for a woman on a democratic office. When you are not up to that age of voting, you can also try during elections to avoid anything that will cause you problems. When I go back, I organize a kind of drama depicting what democracy is meant to be. Because as we have in Nigeria now, we're having a very ill democracy, a killer democracy, pardon me. So I would think I'll, add, I'll act a drama depicting what I feel democracy should be. I would like to be the president of Nigeria because I want to help my people who are suffering and I want to fight for my country, Nigeria. Fundamental human rights.